wake up. It's, it's a bright sunny morning. The day looks brilliant as if it's just being served up for you. There are no debts to repay and there are no bills to worry about. You look forward to doing not only just what you love doing, <coughs> but also your best at doing. Sounds like a dream. Dear Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests, being debt free and happy is very much possible and can be a vivid reality. Let me tell you why you should get out of debt and suggest five simple steps to, to, to have a debt free and stress free life to be happy, wealthy, and wise. The Bible says, to quote the Bible, the Lord will open for you his good storehouse, the heavens to give rain to your land in a season, to bless all the work of your hand, and thou shalt lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Again, to quote Proverbs 22, 7, the borrower is a slave to the lender. So when you take a loan from the bank, you are paying interest on a loan, so until you finish repaying the loan, you are a slave of the bank, transferring your hard-earned income to the bank in the form of interest. Now, instead, declare war on the bank and rip your bank to earn for you. So, how do you do this? Let me ask you my simple question. How many of you know what a cash budget is? Can you raise your hands? Raise up and you, you know it, right? So, <laughs> great. Okay, that's great. Uh, now, how many of you use a cash budget on, on a regular basis, say at least on a weekly basis? <coughs> Can you raise your hands? Oh, I, I expected more of those. <laughs> okay, um, so step number one, write down your cash budget, listing all your income and expenses. There's only one income usually, but there are many expenses. Write down all your expenses with the, the target savings that you intend to achieve. Recording your income and expenditure gives you valuable and vivid insight into your fluctuating levels of cash that's available for you to save and spend. Step two, eliminate or at least reduce your uh, non-essential recurring expenses. This includes your very convenient uh, monthly debits, the, the direct debits as you like to call it, your uh, the insurance payment, insurance premiums on the loans, that you on, on the insurance premiums that you never probably use, the uh, loan repayments, and, and of course, please destroy all the discount vouchers. The discount vouchers are essentially vouchers to induce to spend what is not discounted. Okay, let's say a twenty percent discount. Essentially, uh, spending the remaining eighty percent of the discount value. Step three: go for gold. Go for 35% FOIR. When you follow steps 1 and 2, you can clearly go for a 35% fixed obligation to income ratio. Fixed obligation or, or it basically indicates your monthly non-recurring expenses that you incur on a month-on-month -month basis. When you find that your FOIR has come down to less than 35%, you'll find increased levels of happiness and stability in your life. Banks use ratio to evaluate how much, of, how much a borrower can safely be milked to fund the bank's earnings in the form of interest. So why do you want to, why do you want to pay a bank? Get the bank to pay you interest on the, on the deposits that you hold to the bank. Step four, clean your credit card before your credit card cleans you. <laughs> Pushing for a deal statement for at least six months on your credit card statement bill can give you increased elbow room and flexibility on your finances, which is which can be very, very valuable in the long run. Step five, get back to the past. When you follow steps one to four, you suddenly find that you have increased levels of cash and investments to go with. And suddenly you're living off, and if you follow these steps with dis discipline and rigor, you'll find yourself living off the income that you earned a year ago, that is, which is income of the past, rather than Dipping into the income of the future, which is the next month's income. When your cash reserves exceed your monthly expenses, you are ready to retire. That is, when your cash reserves exceed the monthly expenses, expenses for the rest of your lifetime, you only need to work, live, and work for what you love doing, and nothing else. 
So even Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita says that the man uh, only, uh, uh, let me quote from the Bhagavad Gita, only a man free of debt can be happy and content, and only then can he proceed to release himself from the bondage of karma. To conclude, living within your means and investing your targeted savings before you spend will help you attain the peace of mind and happiness we so rightly deserve. Wish you all the best.